Alright, much brew about nothing. Playing some Force Mage Green in Modern. Now let's see if we can... Ooh. Alright, this hand seems reasonable. We have a turn two Force Mage into a Geist, maybe into Solifuge, and then potentially Hurricane to finish things off. I think this is about what we're looking for. So, Forest into High Arc. Pass the turn. Urza's Tower. Ooh. Alright, let's Force Mage. Pass the turn. Oh, they're getting close to Tron. We get a forest. Well, let's just... Giant Solifuge? We need about maybe one more turn. One or two more turns. So it gets pumped up. Swing with everything. Hit our opponent for nine. Do they have natural t Tron? That is one of the questions. Down to 11. So, assuming they don't kill our stuff, four, five, six, we have lethal next turn, on turn four, if they don't have, like, a pyro, ooh, <laughs> all right, well, we got there. Uh, do we have anything against Tron? Needle, seems relevant, and I guess Rexage, maybe? I think we just gotta try to be fast. Go down a Birds of Paradise... We might want Hurricane to finish the game after swinging Slaughterhorn. Is a pump spell we can Summoner's Pact for? Let's go down the ooze. Let's uh, let's try it like that. Ugh, zero lander. Uh, all right, we can try this. We got the Force Mage. Got some birds. Got a needle. I kind of want to land though. If we can go birds, Force Mage, Groundbreaker. That might be fast enough, but we only have one needle, and it can shut down a Karn. Are we going to win if they get a Karn anyway, though? Alright, let's keep the needle. It slows us down slightly, but... Uh, so let's just forest birds and pass the turn. We could still just draw our third land. Power plant. Spellskite. Uh, vines, well, I guess we just got a birds and pass? This might end up being too slow. I don't really want a needle yet. Well, there's Tron. There's Plantum Angel. Oh god. Maybe we misjudged this matchup. Um, Primal Force Mage. <laughs> Hope nothing horrible happens. Seems unlikely. Uh, alright. Uh, that does it. We're not coming back from an all's dust there. Uh, alright, we're on the play this game, which helps. I think we just run it back. I think this setup is fine. Alright, we'll try it. Forest Goo. I don't think we want to just fireball the Drake for two. Opponent has a mine, and passes. Alright, let's just strangle Rootgeist. Get in a 4-2. Good counter for all his dust, at least. Power plant. Oh, is our opponent just going to have natural Tron again? Chalice of the Void X1. Oh, that's bad news. Well, good news is Groundbreaker. Swing with both. Put our opponent down to 10. Lose our Groundbreaker. Oh, man. Natural Tron again. Into the Platinum Angel. Alright, let's... Life, well, let's think about this. Let's attack with Strangle Root, see what our opponent does. Takes it down to 10. Uh, all right, down to down from 10 to 8. And then just pass. It might have been better just to slaughter horn into life's legacy there. Ghost quarter, spellskite. Right. 
and Endbringer. Bonin's got all the jank. This is a odd build of Tron. Now let's attack with Spellskite. Opponent blocks. Now let's Slaughterhorn. Kill the Endbringer. Stringeroot comes back. And I think we need to Life's Legacy. Would have been better if it hadn't died, but... Land and go. We have many one drops we can't cast, unfortunately. Another Spellskite. An Urborg. Cast an expedition map into their own chalice. <laughs> well, at least we got to see our opponent chalice themselves. We're not going to win, most likely, but that kind of makes it worth it. Uh, actually, Hurricane is sort of a, we sort of have a chance. Hmm. Hmm, 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 hmm. Do we just Hurricane right now? It kills Platinum Angel, puts our opponent to four. They apparently didn't have anything good to do last turn. I think we do it and hope we get lucky. We are not going to be able to attack through those spell skites anyway. <laughs> well, I don't think our opponent was expecting White Bordered Hurricane X4 to kill Platinum Angel. Pass the turn. See what our opponent draws into. A Force Mage would be helpful. Ratchet Bomb, not that scary. And passes. Oh man, I wish we would stop drawing one drops. One drops are not helping us here. Actually, Rexage would be our best draw, I think. Rexage killed Chalice. Suddenly makes things much better. Land for our opponent. Alright, well. Not gonna win us a game, but let's just attack. I think we just attack with both. Opponent blocks and blocks. Alright, we get rid of a spell skite. Hit our opponent for two. Which means Groundbreaker is lethal, Timbermare is lethal, um our tutors are lethal. We have a lot of things that just win us the game here now. Ghost quarter, passes. Come on, deck. And we already have drawn all of our uncastable one drops. Forest, go. Oh, top deck wars. Thing is, sooner or later they're going to draw something awesome. We need it. We need our tutor. Tower, go. Oh, come on. We got we got a lot of copies of things that win us a game. Needle, another one drop that's uncastable. Oh, we don't even have that many one drops in this deck. I mean, we have kind of a lot, but not an insane amount. Oh, Lord, another Platinum Angel. Well, that was the best draw on our opponent's deck. Now we gotta draw Rexage. Or Forest. Oh, man. Platinum Angel isn't really even that good. But it's looking like it's gonna win our opponent this game. Well, our opponent wins the top deck war by drawing multiple Platinum Angels. Why, we draw things we can't cast. Oh, that was disappointing. Just because we had a lot of outs.